Hello guys, in today's YouTube video we're going to be talking about what week is this? I don't remember what week this is. This is episode 27 of Twit. This week we buffed, uh, or not we, but Bungie decided to buff Telesto. And uh, it was nerfed actually today on Monday around like 5pm EST, which was very strange. I think a lot of people were expecting it to get nerfed on Tuesday reset. We were already told by DMG at some point that Telesto would be nerfed eventually. And it was only for this week, which was great to know because honestly playing this weekend with the looming potential reality that they're just going to leave Telesto this way was eating me alive and I'm very happy that they finally or that they did go about saying something I think he I think DMG said something on Saturday or something like that happy that's finally gone and now that Telesto is gone I suspect the new meta will probably be like Terraba and a sniper or just like a, a sniper SMG or a, a sidearm SMG um, and I'll probably be making a video on a build with that at some point given that's gonna be i mean it might not be the new meta for very long because we only have 20 something days at this point like 22 23 days left in this season as of the time i'm recording this which is after my wonderful stream with grenader jake on monday before i eat dinner and stuff so we, we don't have much longer of this season and we're supposed to be getting a lot of exotics reworked and a lot of perks change so i'm sure with all of that stuff happening i'd be very surprised if we don't see a shake up in the current meta or the pvp and hopefully it's for the better and not for the worse although it's likely it could be for the worst because we've kind of been experiencing a rather unenjoyable pvp sandbox ever since void 3.0 and the release of witch queen hopefully they address some of that i know they're going to be making some changes to abilities coming into next season um but i a lot of it i feel is not I, i'm just hoping they address the exotics on hunter on void hunter and i'm hoping that they uh potentially nerf titans a little bit because i feel like titans space are a lot better than hunters base because for me i feel like the hunters the thing that makes them so good like void hunters in this hunters in particular is their exotics i think void hunter by itself without any exotics is not really too crazy but once you start putting you know exotics that give you basically infinite invis or prolonged invis or wall hacks while you're invis or increased damage after you come out of your invis shortly after rather to be exact that's when you start to it starts to get pretty crazy then because it's just so strong and so easy to make good use of and it, it's it's what definitely puts it over the edge on, on top of the fact that tether is a tier 5 super so hopefully we hopefully with the exotic changes or reworks i think a lot of them are going to be weapons i'm pretty sure all of them are weapons actually they, they didn't confirm that i don't think unless i i, I might not have been read closely enough to the twabs when they do talk about that stuff but i believe a lot of the weapons are going to be uh, or a lot of the quote-unquote exotics that are going to be getting reworked are going to be weapons so anyway to now talk about you know world's first we did not get that we got fucking owned by telesto and uh yeah <clears throat> also this week was pretty funky because we started off on, on jav 4 for like the first three games that seems to be a typical trend with bungie as of late this it's only been happening this season i think like it didn't really ever happen before otherwise but this season it's almost like guaranteed that like it's gonna say hey we're picking cauldron but then you'll load up on like chat four or like distant shore or some weird shit like that so oh man and i gotta say for me personally this might have been one of my worst weeks of trials of osiris ever like actually ever i i love cauldron i don't like this meta this meta obviously you know i feel like a lot of people don't like this meta it's one of the worst metas we've had in the game we've honestly had like some of the worst metas back to back to back like we had renewal grass meta we had omni oculus meta we have capri's uh Lorentz, or capri's linear fusion meta and now we had telesto meta and it's just it really sucks because that's just that's been like over the course of this year like all of those metas and it, i mean i'm thinking hopefully with season 19 they'll iron a lot of those things out because really honestly if they if they nerf kepri's make it not as good or like make it so it just doesn't even work in pvp and it only works against pve guys and they make omni oculus not as good either i don't know i i think it is very possible that we can finally get into a meta um that kind of gives us some respite and that it's more enjoyable i, I think it's definitely likely and i'm hoping that we get that next season 
season I really am hoping bad for it right now because I, I think a lot of people including myself are struggling very hard or they just struggling to play the game or enjoy the game and for other people that don't do this for a living I would recommend you just stop playing and wait till the game gets better but obviously for me I do this for a living this is how I make my money and I don't really have that option and you know it's just tough shit this is what I do for a living at the end of the day I'm getting to play a video game so you know I'll get over it but it would definitely be nice to enjoy what I'm doing all of the time but that's you know that's part of work work you're not always going to enjoy work and this is work for me at the end of the day so anyway in the comments below let me know if you guys had a rough time as well and if you did I feel for you I'm, I'm happy this week is finally over we can all finally rest and know and we're going to have Iron Banner as well Iron Banner is coming around so there's going to be a week without trials so for me personally I'm excited about that because that means that we'll you know just be able to chill play some Iron Banner I mean for some people that's boring but for me I'm excited because I'll be able to chill play Iron Banner and then um, as well I'll be able to uh, I'll be able to you know play other games which I'm really looking forward to because Trials is not around when Trials is out I just don't feel like I can play other games I'm going to feel a lot more free to like hop on other games like MW2 or Warzone or basically MW2 I'm definitely going to be doing that during the week um, during the Iron Banner week and during the Iron Banner weekend because I'm honestly the only thing that I might farm for is like Allied Demand I kind of want a good Allied Demand um, but other than that I'm not really too interested in farming for anything crazy that I can think of off the top of my head um so yeah I mean once again let me know in the comments below if you guys did enjoy this weekend I figure a lot of people didn't I've seen a lot of people on Twitter and stuff saying this is one of the worst weeks ever and just generally a lot of frustration in the community with Bungie for buffing Telesto right after they nerfed Linear Fusions. Kind of felt like a big like slap in the face from them. But I mean, it, it was a, it was like supposed to be a community event, but I, I just, it's personally not what I was looking for or hoping for in a community event. And I think a lot of people wanted a secret mission and there's just generally a lot of uh, dissatisfaction and unhappiness with uh with what we did get for the community event and I, I hope Bungie looks at that and realizes that that was not a good move and they probably would have been better diverting their resources into either absolutely nothing like I, I would have rather not had that community event or you know just I don't know like I said diverting the resources elsewhere instead of giving us something like that it is possible as well that the buff to Telesto was them giving us a peek into the exotic reworks and what we can expect from the exotic reworks and if that's the case then oh boy i i'm praying for us all because it's going to be moldy if that is if that is what we can expect from the exotic reworks coming out of bungie hq for season 19 then we're we're in big trouble and it's the dark the dark age is upon us so hopefully that's not the case <laughs> anyway i'm gonna end the video here if you guys did enjoy the video please make sure to like comment subscribe that helps me out a lot um and if you are interested in keeping up to date with what's happening with me and the channel please make sure to go follow me on twitter i post on there every day and if you want to enjoy more content of mine i'm going to be streaming pretty much every day during the week this coming week with warzone coming out i don't really have any reason not to stream so i'm going to be doing a mix of warzone dmz and like destiny content this week so anyway hope you all enjoy and i will see you in the next one peace out